Hello everyone, my name is Roger Fari and in this video we are going to talk about a very important property of a long arm data mining machine learning algorithms. The property random state is a property of any random based algorithm that Python uh, libraries have. In this video we're going to look at an example that is going to sort of like demystify what this random state is and how best you can use it for developing your solutions. So let's get to it. All right, so here we are at our Jupyter Notebook uh, interface. Here we're going to use k-means, which is a random based clustering algorithm to demonstrate what random state is. So let me first build up the case, uh, sort of like look at the example of clustering that we're gonna do in this video, and then we'll get to the random state. So of course we will first uh, import our modules and we're going to use the customer churn.csv that we've already worked with in all my previous videos. So we uh, read this data, uh, we have a bunch of different attributes. Here, I'm going to only focus on these uh, seven attributes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven attributes to use these attributes to basically cluster customers uh, based on these attributes. So I only keep these attributes and these are the only attributes that the customer DF has have now. So the problem I'm trying to solve to show you um, the you know, applicability of random random state is I want to form clusters of customers that maximize silhouette score. Silhouette score is a metric that basically measures the goodness of your clustering output. Uh, so something that we'll talk about in my future videos, of course, but for now, just look at it as how good the result of the clustering were. So we want to maximize the silhouette score, but we want to have our customers to be grouped into only 14 clusters. So to apply a clustering algorithm um, to this data, one of the first thing we always need to do for any clustering algorithm is to first normalize or standardize our data. So in this line of code, this has happened. And once you normalize or standardize your data, basically in effect, you make sure that all of the attributes range between negative one and one, or in this case here, range between zero and one. So now once the data is ready, all you need to do is to use the module k-means uh, from a scale-learn module, a scale-learn module class. So uh, I specify the number of clusters to be 14, and then I say fit to this data, this algorithm. And this is the data that I just uh, normalized. And then calculate the silhouette score based on the data and the labels that this algorithm has fit to this data, right? So once I run this, um, this algorithm runs and gives me a silhouette score of 0.34. And silhouette scores, the best silhouette score could be one and the worst could be zero, right? So it's like 0.34. Uh, so let me run this again, 0.35. Run this again, 0.31. You can see every time I run this, I get a different output. The reason is, k-means algorithm is a random based algorithm but specifically at the initialization start of the algorithm where the uh, four three or 14 of these data objects are chosen as the centroid of these algorithms something that k-means does um, this is done completely randomly right so every time the algorithm is run clustering output is different right but most of the time all of the time, the silhouette score is around, is greater than 0.3. But again, these uh, scores are different from one another. That shows the uh, fact that these algorithms are, this algorithm is random. Um, you can do this, you know, in a loop, right? And instead of like keep running this, uh, you can do this in a loop. Uh, you know, I inadvertently have already done this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. So once you run this, uh, this loop will create uh, different clusterings based on the k-means and because every time it is initialized randomly you will have different silhouette score that I'm printing out here. So now 
you know, I can do this 1000 time and then the one that reached to the best outcome, I can choose that, that one. For example, um, now I want to, um, so the best one that comes out of this is this randomization. But every time I run this, I get a completely different set of results. So for example, uh, again, in this time, the best one is either this run or this run. But this was completely random, right? So now I'm starting to talk about how random state could be useful. How am I supposed to uh, sort of like know what happened? What randomization was it that led to this success, right? So this is the most successful cluster based on Silhouette score. So how am I supposed to do that? And one of the ways you can do this, uh, actually the easiest way, uh, the most straightforward way you can do this with Python is to use random state. So I tweaked this code above here just a little bit. I have introduced the random state and every time um, I just pass the random state of the index of this loop to this random state. And then I print the random state i with the slurred score for each of the runs, right? So once I do run this, now I have the random state and also the result of these uh, clustering. So I can see uh, the result in random state 17 led to the best cluster. So all I need to do here is to use that random state to lead to this um, success. Basically, random state is an identity that Python gives to the randomization that was just given to you, right? So if under the random state 17, you created any algorithm, or initialize any 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 algorithm every time you specify the random state 17 that algorithm is going to uh, behave exactly the same as the previous one and that's the uh, utility of a random state right so now i can say okay i know what which one which one which one of these output i want so i want this one and because uh, you know it i you know the python has taken the time to uh, you know, give identity to each of these randomization. Now I can call this and get the exactly same output for my k-mean. So now that I know which one is the best that I want, I can just go ahead and add the clustering to uh, my data frame. So this is the clusters that are done by by the k-means that use the randomization with the ID of seventeen as the random state. So I could have done this, you know, sort of like memory of uh, my randomization in different ways, right? I could have uh, kept the output of all of the clustering, so all of these, um, all of these loops, and then the one that led to the best one, I could like grab that one. Of course, those are also all solution, but the point here is this makes it much easier, and you know, this is not the only way you could be using random state. I mean, the way, the the reason I'm showing this. Uh, to teach you what random states are, it's because this is simple and understandable. So uh, what you want to take away from this video from random state is the fact that random state is basically an identity that Python or these module gives to the randomization. So every time you run a random algorithm, if you have the random state, you know that randomization, you have an identity for it and you can call it again.